This video is going to be all about our eyes. I've been like throwing a few videos out there about our eyes. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about the different things that we do that can irritate, redden, or cause pain to our eyes, as well as different things that can get into our eyes and infect them. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just get straight into the video. Things that can cause irritation, redden, infect, or cause pain to our eyes. Number one, parasites. Here are some parasites that can get into our eyes. Onchocerca volvulus. This parasite can cause river blindness. It is spread by the black fly and contact with contaminated water. It is a type of nematode. This parasite is commonly found in Africa. Here is an image of its life cycle. Next is Acanthamoeba. As the name suggests, they are amoeba. Amoeba are single-celled organisms. They are protozoa. They can be found anywhere in water or soil. Next are roundworms, also known as Toxocara worms. These worms in particular are very fond of dogs. Once your pet is infected, they can transfer the worms to you since parasites live in both humans and animals and are spread by contact. Almost all dogs will have this parasite at some point or they may live with them their whole lives. Roundworms are the most common of the parasitic worms found inside of dogs. Some puppies are born with these worms since the worms can be passed through the breast milk. These worms are also passed when a puppy eats the eggs from their environment or when they eat another animal such as a small mammal or mouse that is contaminated with the worms. Once the worms are ingested, they can then grow inside of the puppies or the dogs. Next is Hyperderma tarondi. This is a type of fly that is parasitic. It loves to eat up deer and caribou. Once they enter humans, they tend to go for the eye area. They can cause you to see floaters in your eyes. You can also get them by coming into direct contact with the larvae, which can be found on the hairs of the deer or caribou. These contaminated hairs can enter your eyes if you're around animal pelts or when skinning an animal. Next is the lower lower worm, also known as the African eye worm. This worm is common in Africa. You can get it when you're bitten by a deer fly. an image of its life cycle. Next is Tinea solium, also known as the pork tapeworm. You get this from eating undercooked pork. Next is the lazy acalapida. This parasite loves to feed on humans, cats, and dogs. They are found throughout Southeast Asia, as well as in the US, in places like California. You can get them by drinking unclean water. Next is Toxoplasma gondii, commonly found in house cats. There is an image of their life cycle. All of these parasites are particularly dangerous because they can get into the eye area, which is very close to your brain. Some parasites remain in certain organs or parts of the body but the most deadly parasites can get into the eyes and make their way into your brain which is why they are so dangerous not only is blindness a possibility but so is brain damage since parasites that eat the brain can eat it away which will lead to nerve damage and mental impairment Now we shall move on to other things that we do that can hurt our eyes or cause infection. Number two, fungi. Fungi can enter the eye and cause an eye infection. Number three, wearing contact lenses can cause eye infections too. 
Number four, putting unclean hands in your eyes, touching your eyes and face. Number five, rubbing your eyes which can cause blindness. Number six, wearing makeup. The issue with wearing eye makeup is that makeup tends to get contaminated easily and not everyone cleans their makeup regularly. So makeup can cause rashes on your eyes and even bacterial infections. In addition, a lot of makeup has toxic chemicals or heavy metals in them that can damage our eyes. Some heavy metals that are found in makeup include arsenic, lead, nickel, aluminum, chromium, cadmium, manganese and mercury. Eyeliner often has cadmium in it. Beryllium is often found in eyeshadows and mascara commonly has arsenic. Arsenic can cause different types of cancers. Cadmium has been linked to kidney damage, liver disease, diarrhea, nausea. Cadmium has been linked to hypertension, cramps, and emphysema. Along with these, some dangerous heavy metals that are found in makeup include formaldehyde, BHA, light colors, and BHT. Number seven, air pollution. Air pollution can redden and irritate our eyes. Number eight, using unclean water to wash your face, getting unclean water in your eyes. Number nine, using soaps that are unnatural or not organic to clean the face and eye area. These soaps can have harsh chemicals in them that will irritate and redden your eyes. Lastly, number 10, pets. If your pet has eye problems, you could get it too because the bacteria is contagious and transferable to humans. Some people also have allergic reactions to pets' fur, which can irritate and redden the eyes. 